ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ernie Leuk and welcome to this week's edition of Sound Off. Um, so, we got a lot going on today's plate, so let's begin. First off, three headlines that capture that happened over the week. Number one, Comic Con return badges sells out and fans do vent about it. You can click on the link down below by 10 News in San Diego. This is actually for San Diego Comic Con, which I think sold out within an hour, I think under an hour, if my memory serves me correctly. Definitely sold out quickly and fans were not happy about that. So you can check out their, uh, their little thing down below. Headline number two, Stan Lee cancels his Big Apple Comic Con, Comic -Con appearance due to poor health. He is old, he's getting up there. Um, I know that he's supposed to be making, he made an appearance at Big Apple, or supposed to, and he's supposed to make one for Boston Comic Con. Lately, Stanley has been canceling a lot of appearances, um, so we'll see what happens from there. And then finally, the last one, actually a big one that got a lot of people talking was EliteCon down in Florida has banned cosplay from their convention. They have said it numerous times that they will, if you are dressed up, you will not be allowed in. They want to be a different type of nerd convention. The one that appeals to a lot of collectors, a lot of comics, just kind of just have an overall gathering of the fin. Which is, you know, it's a nice thing to try. It's a nice little um, angle to go in, but we'll see how that works out once their convention goes through. So yeah, so those are three headlines that happened during the week. Next up is our sound off picture. If you could choose three mutations from the X-Men for your everyday life, what would they be? And let's see, let's see, okay, on Facebook we have Toad's Wall Crawling, uh, Ricochet's Hyper Agility, and Danger Sense, that's true there, uh, let's see, another one is uh, Shape Shifting, Healing, and Telekinesis, that's a pretty good one, and then on, then on Instagram, uh, Mystique, Wolverine, and Xavier, those aren't exactly mutations, but you know we'll we'll go with that. Um, tele telepathic. Let's see, telepathically, yeah. Uh, telekinesis and the healing factor. Telepathy. That's the word I was looking for. That's the word. Telepathy, healing, and power stealing. Uh, multiple men duplication, shape shifting, and healing factor. Uh, let's see, shape shifting, flight, and uh, telepathy. Let's see, telepathy by Professor X, telekinesis, and teleportation, and then finally telepathy, telekinesis, and healing. So I think telepathy and telekinesis is kind of the overall theme of what people do enjoy, what people, one power that they want. So yeah, so uh, that was last week's sound off picture. Stay tuned to the end of the show for this week's. Our next up is our Tip Tuesday post. Our con tip of the week is to try something new. It's, um, it's always a scary thing when you do something new, whether it's a mashup or whether it's like, whether it comes like to cosplay or to conventions or just in life in general. It's a very scary thing. Trust me. Well, we know. We, we've done a lot of things new that we wanted to try and they haven't been always successful, but, you know, at least we gave it a shot. It's better to, better to try than to not try at all. So, yeah, that's our con tip of the week. Next up is our cosplay of the week, which is right here. It is uh, Sasuke from Naruto. Uh, the cosplayer is Johnny Silva. And the photographer is Nico Cosplay Photography. You can check out the link down below. Uh, this week's Hero of Cosplay, which is a positive influence on the community. It's Heroes United Against Cosplay Bullying. It's probably one of the, um, other than harassment, um copyright like violations and all that stuff i think bullying is definitely one of the top one of the big topics up there in the cosplay community and these guys have a facebook page that you can join and you can share your stories and you can share uh get support uh just in case if you're having a bad day you can go on there and be like hey you know x y and z go over there and basically check it out you know and see how yeah so uh but yeah that's our hero of cosplay heroes united against cosplay bullying our page model uh this week is tony x tempris 
And the reason why it's her, because she just opened up a Twitch channel, which I suggest that you all check out. You can see that there, she has been shooting with us ever since at least, I think December 2005 is the is when we start or is when we met and then we kind of over the course of time became awesome friends and I can't wait to see her again I have no idea when I'll see her but we'll see, we'll definitely shoot again so that is our page model right there Tony X Tempers she's on Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube um, and now you can add on to that list Twitch so check out the link down below our photo shoot of the week the photo shoots that we've done uh, was a Star Wars shoot that we did at Katsurcon with page models, Pirate Chris, Spare Wind, and Rulian Cosplay, along with some others that you'll be able to check out on our Facebook page. So you'll be able to check it out there, facebook.com slash POV. Speaking of Facebook and social media, let's talk about our posts. Uh, first up, our social media posts. Our dealer spotlight goes to Vivid Delights, which if I actually look at it, <laughs> Not kind of like BMA, BS my way through it like I have been doing. Uh, you can see that uh, that Vivid Light uh, from Etsy specializes in the perfect light up boxes that fits any pants, taste, crime, Harry Potter to Zelda, like anything. So it's these kind of these little boxes. They're, they're lights, but they're kind of like they're lamps, but they're sort of more nerd related. So. You can check it out there. Our artist spotlight goes to Kwan. Kwan, I think that's right. Um, uh, who you can see through DeviantArt, who specializes in both sketches and digital arts. Uh, we can see the one right here. We have the crossover for Stranger Things and also Gravity Falls. So check that out. And for watching Wednesday, Ricardo chose Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Uh, released in 92 with a star of cast, including Christopher Lloyd as perhaps the scariest villain all around Hexus. And you'll be able to re read a little short synopsis on Fern Gully and why you should watch it on the links down below. So yeah, so those are our social media posts. Uh, definitely too fast. Uh, let's see, our videos for the week. Uh, Music Monday, we had, is our, is the DC cosplay shoot at the Cloisters Castle in Lutherville, Maryland. You'll be able to check the video down below from our Facebook page. I was there, the one filming it, and it was a fun time by all, even though I think all of us were still exhausted from Katagon. So, uh, yeah, we still have, we're still tired from that. Our Throwback Thursday video is from Icon26, which is actually happening the this coming weekend, uh, which uh, we'll talk about during our con update. Uh, Pirate Chris gives away his phone number yes he gave it away uh so you'll be able to check that out our feature friday we'll be going to be featuring um our feature fridays we're going to be featuring stuff that you guys have voted for our fans choice awards last week we had cosplay blooper this week we have cosplay music video that we actually produced and the guys you chosen as your favorite cmv that we did was from katsu 2016 apologize so that is our feature for the week and for the Saturday skit from Anime Milwaukee this past year, you can check out Kara Oki. Yeah, I think I said that right. Kira Oki cosplay. I hope I said it right. And their Death Note skit from the Masquerade there. So yeah, so that's our, all of our social media posts for this week. Our con update. Uh, Ricardo, along with cosplay player page model Fairwind. Maybe a ruin, not sure yet. Uh, and I think Satsuhime is kind of on the fence, if I remember correctly. Uh, but at least definitely Ricardo and Fairwind cosplay will be at Icon 32. They revive the re revival of Icon ever since uh, the last one was back in 2012. Uh, in Hot Park, New York, that is happening this weekend, March 17th through the 19th on the pending snowstorm. And also, I will be at the Kennedy Center here in Washington, D.C., for a shoot with the DZ with the DZ cosplay group, and that is happening on Saturday, on Sunday, March 26th. <laughs> so, be sure to check it out. We'll have, I'm sure we'll have videos and photos from both of those events. Uh, this week's send off picture. We want to know what is your wolf's name. So you take the first letter of your first name and last name, put.
put it together and that's your wolf's name right there so you'll be able to check it out all on here but yeah but other than that sorry for the rush sound off uh kind of need to get this done asap um so but uh but yeah basically you can still follow us on social media we're on youtube we're on facebook instagram twitter uh also tumblr uh i know we want to start up a twitch channel we're still in the process of getting it done so but yeah you can basically follow us all on there with the fans pov also check out our website thefanspov.com all right so um but yeah that's it for this week's sound off just want to uh thank everybody for participating thank you very much for watching make sure with this video you like share and subscribe to us and uh, next week uh christy will be hosting so make sure you tune in for that all right uh i am ready with the fans pov signing off